Welcome to this week's Friday edition of ONW Now. Today, we have an inside look on the bone marrow drive, job Olympics, an in-studio guest, Game Day Northwest, and trending topics. Let's get started. The bone marrow drive took place on Tuesday here at Olathe Northwest. Cammie and Isabel were there. ONW hosted their third annual bone marrow drive this past Tuesday. Despite many misconceptions, all the bone marrow drive requires is a simple swapping. Hi, this is Cammie Gibson alongside Allison Thomas. She just donated for the bone marrow drive, so how was it? It was actually a lot easier than I thought. Only took like 15 minutes. Um, everybody was super nice in there. I was a little worried because I didn't know for sure like how it would all go down, but it went really smoothly. Free food in there, so it was good. <laughs> what did you have to do to donate for the bone marrow drive? Um, I just had to fill out this like really easy form, just like my name, my number, and like my address. And then I just swiped each cheek for about 30 seconds, and then I turned it in and I got a cool sticker, so. After you swab, you are entered into the bone marrow registry until you turn 60 or request to be taken off the list. There is a 19% chance that an individual will be selected as a match. If you are selected as a match, you will do one of the two forms of bone marrow extraction. 85% of the time, a blood draw is taken, and 15% of the time, an extraction from the bone is taken. Last year, there were seven matches from the bone marrow drive. It's just a really amazing process. It only takes about 13 minutes, and I think that's just not a lot of time to give to save a life, so I think it's amazing. This year at the drive, 273 people registered. That's a total of 490 people registering in the past three years ONW has held the drive. Thank you to those who registered. For ONW Now, this has been Isabel Lobby. Now back to the desk. Last Wednesday, our interpersonal skills class traveled to Johns Canyon Community College to compete in this year's Job Olympics. Tyler and I have the story. If you have ever had any doubts about the talents of the special needs youth at Olathe Northwest, you now have no reason to. Well, the one thing about uh, special needs kids is um, this, you, what you see is what you get with them. As, you know, as gen ed people, we tend to hold back and be insecure. Those kids walk life, this is who I am, love me or don't. After traveling to Johnson County Community College to compete in various real world events, we see the practices being put into place. They hone in on that activity and then they go and they do it to the best of their ability and they rock it completely. And so they feel like they have just conquered this activity. Winning the awards meant absolutely nothing to these individuals. The only thing that was truly cared for was the camaraderie. Um, we've been unified together because uh, they've practiced together they've competed together, and they've cheered each other on. And I feel like that was more beneficial uh, than just learning a job task, that they were there for each other. Because um, I never had a good friend like that before. And they're, they're like my brother to me, and I never had a good friend like that. They've changed my life, um, changed my heart toward people with special needs or disabilities, and I don't see those things anymore. These people have just become my friends. Hey Ravens, I'm Pedro Von Simpson, and I'm sitting down here with Lucas Scott, who plays Larry in Macbeth Did It. Um, will you tell us what Macbeth Did It is about and what it is? So it's about the director, Larry, and his girlfriend, and they're trying to put together this, they're trying to put together Macbeth, and all the members of the cast are either really crazy or 
not very smart. So it's about all the shenanigans that they get into and awkward situations that occur while they're trying to get this show on stage. So tell us why the students should come out and see this. Is it going to be funny? Is it going to be it's it's very funny. Yeah, like it's it's not it's not really like a slapstick. Oh, a box is falling on this guy's head. Kind of funny. It's very you see it building the whole time, and then there's little kind of funny parts interspersed between. But it's all about the big climactic <laughs> results from all of these people thrown together in a stressful production. So it's like one of those things where you, the audience knows what's happening, but everyone else is kind of confused. Yeah, yeah. It's like you can see all the building blocks kind of occurring, and then by the end, it all just Kind of goes. Awesome. <laughs> well, when can we come in out and see this play? You can come see it tonight or tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for $5. All right. You heard it, Ravens, tonight at 7 o'clock for $5 or tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, $5 in the auditorium. Now back to the hosts. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. My name is Brady Jensen and I'll be your host. The boys golf team continued a strong start to the season at Lake Quivira last Tuesday. Joe Kaliga has the story. The Olathe Northwest men's golf team is off to a solid start this year. In their first challenge at Deer Creek Golf Club, they placed first overall with senior Carter Mayberry landing the overall lowest stroke count at 79. Competing against all 6A Sunflower League schools, ONW's competition has been anything but challenging. This week's tournament at Lake Quivira resulted in a fifth place spot for the Ravens with notable placings from Dylan Funk, Nathan Demores, and junior Harry Welsh. Upcoming tournaments this season include Milburn, Sunflower, and Heritage Park Golf Course. Coach Grove and the golf team have shown exceptional skills so far this season. Make your way out to a tournament to witness your Ravens take it all this year. For ONW Now, this has been Joe Kaliga. Now back to the studio. Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's Question of the Week debate. I'm here with our baseball analysts, Jackson Mealman and Kyle Potasnik. Thank, for, thank you for all who tweeted. Uh, one tweet comes from Brandon Furman who tweeted, the Royals can earn a playoff wild card easier than the division title, but will face stiff competition from the Indians and White Sox. Jackson, how many games will the Royals have to win to make the playoffs? The Royals are going to need uh, 90 wins to make the playoffs, especially this year with a tougher division. There's going to be four teams uh, fighting for the playoff race in our division this year. All right, and Kyle? Um, I think the, uh, the Royals just have to win the division. Uh, I don't think it's based on how many games, but just winning the division this year. All right. Uh, what well, will keep the Royals out of the playoffs, Jackson? Injuries. Injuries are going to be key. If uh, the bullpen and starting rotation stays healthy, especially with Ventura, if Ventura and Duffy go down, Royals playoffs, the Royals making the playoffs are going to be very slim. All right. And Kyle? I'm going to completely agree with Jackson. Uh, if the pitching staff doesn't succeed, uh, the team will fall behind. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Finally, we have late-breaking results from last night's games. The Lady Ravens soccer team dismantled Leavenworth 10-0, forcing the game to be called at half. The Olathe lacrosse team also came away with a victory, upsetting Rockhurst 10-9 in overtime. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. Now, back to the desk. Miranda Sinks is a popular YouTuber, and this week's featured on Trending Topic. I'm here with Shay and Clayton, two very big Murfandas. So what exactly is a Murfanda and who is Miranda Sings? Well, a Murfanda is a fan of Miranda Sings, and Miranda Sings is just the best YouTuber in the world. She's my mom, right? <laughs> so why are you guys Miranda fans? Um, well, like I said before, she is the best YouTuber, and she's really, really funny and a very good lead singer. Show us your best Miranda impression. Um, well, I like this song that she wrote. It's an original. Um, it goes, um, 
Hey, where my beans at? Where my beans at? I got so many beans. You want to have one too? I'm beautiful. Stop. Stop if you could go anywhere in the world with Miranda, where would you go and what would you do? Um, well, I would have to go to her house because it's a really spicy house. Have you seen it? And her, her fiance, oh my gosh, she has so many babes and I want to meet them all the very greatly. I would take a slushy bath together because it's fun and cold and slushies are good. Thanks for joining us on this week's training topics. Thanks for watching today's edition of ONW Now. Be sure to tune in to Monday's edition. Have a great weekend, Ravens.